And now we have actress Nazanin Boniardi. She was recently in the film Hotel Mumbai, based on real events. And you know my favourite fact about Nazanin? She was in the first Iron Man movie. Yeah, now that's an achievement. Wicked. Let's chat to her now. Hello. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Really appreciate it. Hi, of course. Well, I'd love to get talking uh, then about about this uh, this film coming out on Sky very soon for people uh, to check out. And uh, really, just starting, uh, obviously, obvious question, really about the you know the real event that it's based on. When you were first approached to become part of this project, Mazanin, this must have been you know a, a bit of, a bit of a shock that they were going back kind of to this area, but also an amazing opportunity to explore it and actually you know put forward some of the stories that the real people actually went through there. Absolutely. It's a bit of a daunting task, I think, to confront something that uh, was so traumatic for so many people in real life. Um, And, you know, only really a decade old, we're about to approach its 11th anniversary um, in November. And when we were filming it, we, you know, it was sort of fresh in a lot of people's minds. And we wanted to be mindful of respecting the lives lost and also the people who survived. So, yes, it was uh, something that I I didn't take lightly. Uh, Yeah, absolutely. And in terms of the kind of messages the film is going to hopefully get across, I I really do think some of these are still relevant for audiences right now. You know, that's one of unity and sticking together, you know, despite these horrendous times that people unfortunately do sometimes go through. Absolutely. I think the story is unfortunately timely and timeless. I don't know that we're ever going to be able to overcome, you know, the worst of humanity, which is basically people trying to divide us and form ridges between us. But the thing that I think gives me hope in the story, and the reason I wanted to be a part, I so badly wanted to be a part of the story, is because it really is an anthem of resistance at the end of the day. And it shows that the worst in humanity can bring out the very best in us. And that you know, when we band together, we have a better uh, chance of survival. And at the end of the day, bullets don't discriminate. And when we're in these horrific situations, we are in it together, regardless of our faith, of, of our nationality, of our ethnicity, or any of our differences. And in that sense, the, the Taj Hotel served as a microcosm of the greater world. There were people from different socioeconomic backgrounds, religions, nationalities, all you know, thrown in the, into this horrific situation together and forced to band together to survive. In terms of the kind of uh, research process behind getting through, I understand that you did kind of base uh, uh, the characters on, you know, of course, real life people who did unfortunately go through the event. What was that process like, you know, meeting those people or basing, uh, basing what you're doing on those people? Yes, my character, Zahra Kashani, is actually a composite character, so based on a couple of different people, women who actually existed uh, and um, went through this horrific ordeal. And as are some of the other characters in the film, um, of course, there's the character of uh, Sh- Chef Oberoi, who is a real character that's uh, portrayed by Anupam Kaur. And uh, for myself, my, I decided to watch um, Surviving Mumbai, the documentary. Yes. And, um, and also there's a wealth of information online, of course, because of news um, footage and um, interviews done with various people who were survivors and, um, and, and just news articles. And, and, and Anthony, our director, Anthony Maris, was himself a wealth, a well of information because he did approximately two years of research before he even, um, you know, started on the film. So he's he was very very knowledgeable. And it sounds like there's just been a, a you know a massive effort right across the board here just to, you know, really give a fitting tribute as well to, to you know to the people who went through this and you know be as true to life as possible, but at the same time bring out some of these stories that emerged and, and tell them in a, in, in a faithful but, but, a, but a way that's going to capt- captivate the minds of the audience and just you know, show people this is what they went through, this, this, is, this was life and these are the stories that emerged from this. Well, exactly. I think it's a tribute at the end of the day to the heroes, the everyday heroes. We're so uh, used to watching Hollywood films and seeing Hollywood heroes, um, fictional heroes, uh, and this is really about the everyday hero. It's about people who were forced to tap into their strength and their resilience and overcome. And um, we really want to just pay respect and, um, and pay tribute and homage to the heroes and the survivors of that attack. 
Uh, I'd just like to touch on the, uh, the the actual filming of this now, just for a second, if that's okay, because I understand that this must have been an incredibly stressful uh, time time as an actor in this, because of course you you had I understand actually for part of this you actually had kind of you know gunshot sounds and things like this going on in in the set just to make this the scenario a bit more stressful and a bit more real, you know, a bit more believable. Yeah, Anthony, our director, um, used that sort of uh, you know random gunshots at random times on set just to keep us at the edge of our um, nerves, yes. really, yes. and um, to create this sort of uh, very nerve-wracking and intense atmosphere that we were forced to be in, uh, you know, for extended periods of time. It was very traumatic for us to, to portray these characters, but I, every morning I woke up with a renewed sense of hope because it gives you a sense of, you know, gratitude for everything that we do have. We have to live our lives every day knowing how lucky we are to have our loved ones with us and and you know it really helped me put myself in the shoes of the, the people who who face these atrocities and um overcome and really it gives you a sense of hope at the end of the day that you know we are better together united and um you know setting aside our differences well Nazanin, that's fantastic thank you so much for your time this morning i really enjoyed chatting to you and i, and I do urge all of our listeners to uh, to of course catch hotel mumbai when it releases any fi- very final messages for listeners uh, today uh, Nazanin? and i just also just want to double check as well that you are happy with everything that i asked today in which case yeah. i'll let you go thank you so much yes it's been wonderful and i just i urge everybody to check out hotel mumbai when it's out in cinemas and on sky cinema Nazanin, thank you so much pleasure talking to you i'll let you go then thank you for your time thank you cheers thanks